Hello and welcome to the Titus Timeout Podcast. I'm Jenny Abney Sivy, and this week I'm going to answer the question, what is standard air? When you look at airflow performance data for HVAC equipment, you may notice that there's often a note that says the data are based on standard air. So what does this mean and why is it important to you? So standard air is defined by ASHRAE as having a density of 0.075 pounds per cubic foot, a barometric pressure of 29.92 inches of mercury at sea level, and 70 degree dry bulb temperature. So if you're operating your fan or water coil at sea level, you're probably pretty close to using standard air. But if you're operating your equipment in conditions where the density is different, like at high altitudes, maybe at 6,000 feet at the top of this mountain, then your performance could be off from the catalog data by quite a lot. Up here at 6,000 feet, the barometric pressure would be about um, 24 inches of mercury, which would change the performance of your equipment by up to 40%. So down here's where your data is taken, and up here's where you're actually using it, and you're going to see a difference because the data are based on standard air. Can we make a little bit of room here? Okay, so I've shown the load equation several times before. It's Q equals 1.085 times CFM times delta T. And I usually say that 1.085 is a constant, but technically it's only 1.085 at standard air. It's actually the product of density and specific heat. So the load equation actually looks like this. Q equals the density times the specific heat times the conversion of minutes per hour, so 60 minutes per hour, times CFM times delta T. So for standard air, this equals 0.075 pounds per cubic feet times 0.241 BTU per pound for degree Fahrenheit times the 60 times CFM times delta T. Now this section right here, all of that equals 1.085. So you can see that if the density changes, the 1.085 also changes. Luckily you don't have to know the air density at every altitude and temperature. Lots of people have correction factor tables you can look at. So let's move this over here. And here's an example of a correction factor table by altitude and by temperature move this up and give myself some room. So you can see at 6,000 feet and 70 degrees, the correction factor is 0.8. So you take your 1.085 times your 0.8, and that gives you 0.87. So when you do your load equation, you would use 0.87 instead of 1.085 if you're at 6,000 feet. So let's make a little room and show what that does when you plug in numbers into the load equation. So at sea level, our load equation is going to be Q equals 1.085 times, let's use 100 CFM and a delta T of 20 degrees. That's going to equal 2170 BTU. Now at 6,000 feet, our equation becomes Q equals 0.087 times that 100 CFM times 20 degrees, and that equals 1740 BTU. Okay, so what this shows you is that that same 100 CFM and 20 degree delta T handles less load at altitude. So basically at altitude, the air is less dense, and so it has a reduced capacity for heat transfer. So that answers the question, what is standard air? I'll go over how this specifically affects fans and water coil performance data in, separately in future podcasts. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and thanks for taking the time out with us.